Hi, and welcome back to the second hour of Free For All Wednesday here on Focal Point. As we head into the 4th of July weekend, the 4th of July holiday, hope you have a terrific weekend celebrating the freedom. Don't forget to give God all the credit and the thanks for the freedom that we enjoy. John Adams said about the 4th of July that this is the day that ought to be celebrated not only with fireworks and parades, but with solemn acts of devotion to Almighty God. That's John Adams, founding father. That's how we ought to celebrate the 4th. We ought to have the parades. We ought to have the fireworks. We ought to have the noises. We ought to have the cheering. But we also ought to celebrate it with solemn acts of devotion to Almighty God because he is the one to whom we owe the gift of our freedom. Now, the um, speaking of freedom, the religion of peace, uh, apparently Morsi in Egypt is now under house arrest. He got a military coup, so he's toast. And uh, remember Barack Obama said he was going was to change the way the world looks at us. I'm looking at some posters here that are in Tahrir Square. By the way, 91, this is another reason why we should be opposed, I believe, to Muslim immigration. 91 sexual assaults in Tahrir Square in the last four days. 91, all the way from sexual assaults to outright rape. 91, it's endemic in the Islamic uh, culture. But here are some of the posters that are being waved around to Rear Square right now. Uh, here's one that's got a, almost like a poem on it. Obama, you jerk. Muslim brotherhoods are killing the Egyptians, so how come they can guarantee you the security of Israel? Obama, you idiot. Keep in mind that Egypt is not Muslim brotherhood. So they're getting all over Barack Obama, calling him a jerk and an idiot for supporting Morsi. Remember, Morsi was Obama's guy. This was the Arab Spring. This is the guy he wanted. This is the guy he supported. Isn't this wonderful? The Egyptians taking a cue from me. This is the Arab Spring. Inspired by my example, they are rallying for liberty. Morsi's the guy. Got to get rid of Mubarak. Uh, here's another poster. Obama supports terrorism in Egypt. Uh, let's see. Obama supports dictator Morsi. Obama supports terrorism. And these are big, giant posters that they're waving there into Rear Square. Wake up, America. Obama backs up a fascist regime in Egypt. And all these, you'll notice, are in English. They're not in Arabic because they want the American world, they want the Western world to know exactly what they think about our dear uh, leader. So that's going on over in Rear Square. Religion of Peace, here are two Canadians that were hoping to murder thousands of people gathered on Canada Day. That's July 1. That plot got busted up. They wanted to, they wanted to kill thousands of people at the holiday in Canada using the same kind of bomb that the Muslim bombers used in uh, Boston. So the threats uh, continue. And here's a Chechen leader. Remember the, um, the guys that blew up that were responsible for the, the Boston Muslim massacre bombing? They were from Chechnya. And you got a Chechen jihad leader now who was vowing to commit mass murder jihad at the 2014 Winter Olympics in Russia. That they're doing it on sacred soil. Here's how he put it: They plan to hold the Olympics on the bones of our ancestors, on the bones of many, many dead Muslims buried on the territory of our land on the Black Sea. And we, as mujahideen, are obliged not to permit that using any methods allowed us by the almighty Allah. So that's what's going on over there in the Middle East. And, Rob, if we can shift gears here for the last few minutes of this uh, segment,